Casey Donovan, together with Amy Malloy, and thank you for joining us once again in this space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. On a Wednesday, our theme for the day is a whole lot of yes, where we give you mindfulness tips for positivity and being present. One thing we could all benefit from is a good night's sleep. One way we can do this is to get more present in the bedroom. Answer this question. What are all the things you do in your bed? Over the course of a month, think about every activity you do in your bed or on it. Here are some common answers. We watch television. We eat our dinner. We paint our nails. We fold our laundry. We change nappies. We do Zoom meetings. We do our makeup. We have a mini mental breakdown. Etc., etc., etc. Your list will be unique, but we bet it's not short. These days, our beds are multifunctional. And this doesn't make us very present. According to Annie Miller, a psychotherapist specialising in sleep issues, one way to improve our sleep habits is to only use your bed for sleep. This is one many people have heard of before, but it is really important, she says. The aim is to create a strong link between bed and sleep. Not bed and toast and avocado. This means no reading in bed. No watching TV in bed. No snacking in bed. No snoozing in the morning. What about sex? Well, Annie doesn't mention it. But one study did find that couples who have sex outside the bedroom are happier. From now on, give your bed one job and see if you get a better night's rest. I'm Casey Donovan and this is The Space. Join us tomorrow for another mindfulness tip, how to make better career choices and not be seduced by successories. Did you know we have an Instagram page just for you? Check us out at thespace underscore podcast. We'll see you there. Space out.